Tuesday. I'm sorry, the Wednesday. Listen to me. Day late, man. Hey, it's that kind of week. It's going to be that good of a week. The Wednesday edition of Talking Heads, the January 26th edition of Talking Heads is on right here, right now. All brought to you, of course, by John Shoes and the Tribune. You are truly naughty along with Mary Jane in your company right up until 7 p.m. And of course, you know, we have a very special guest today. No stranger to the show, but you know, and he needs no introduction, but hey, I will give him one anyway. So uh, we'd like to welcome back to the show. Like I said, no stranger, but our, our good friend, Mr. Matt Aubrey. He's the executive director for the Organization for Responsible Governance, ORG. And uh, how you been, Matt? What's going on? It's, it's been, what, a couple of weeks since we pow out? I know. Uh, we've, we've been busy, busy at it, uh, doing lots and lots of things. So we're glad to be look, back. Look at you. You're coming to art, man. Look at here. The monogram shirts <laughs> with the full <laughs> embroidery. You know, we call that in the comedy game, FSO, full-size <laughs> operation, buddy. All right? You're now a full-size operator. You just made the full-size operator club. So I guess you got Fake it till you make it, though. You know how that's one of my other mottos too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and kiss it till you can kick it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, obviously MJ uh, with us as well today, and uh, she'll be a uh, chiming in throughout. And uh, who is the uh, other guest that you have here with us today, Matt? We are thrilled to have with us uh, one of our great partners, uh, Kieran Chase, from who's the co-founder of Intel Key, which is one of those uh, top-notch natural national data gathering companies. So yeah, you've seen them a lot. Mean? I, I enjoy seeing the stuff uh, on, you know, on, on, on social media and some of the debates under the post. They, they good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> good material. Good material. Keep it coming. Appreciate it. Afternoon. So, uh, you know, let's 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 chop it up, Matt. A couple of things we need to talk so, about. MJ, you have anything uh, you want to chime no, in? No, I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi to Matt and uh, to our guest, Mr. Chase. It's exciting to uh, have them here and have a conversation today. Now we got a lot of talk about. Uh, Matt, I know you've been uh, talking about it recently, and I know you have other things to talk about, but we'll talk about it, you know, getting ready to go into the news, and then obviously we will have a, a special guest chiming in, too, on the flip side, because we have a big winner, correct, MJ? Yes, we do. We, we are going to speak with the uh, with Ms. Dior Pinder, and I'm so excited. This is a young lady who's a fifth grader. She was the winner of the video competition that ORG uh, sponsored, along with um, others, what integrity means to me. So we're going to have a conversation with her, and I I'm excited to speak with her and her mom so we're looking forward to that because you know and, and and of course i know i know why you're looking forward and excited not a free port you know contingency well, not a free I port number say it, but yeah you know you was gonna say it Bahama. you know you was <laughs> gonna say it stop lying one time for my grand <laughs> bahama <it>. peeps <laughs> all right but matt real quick and, and and i know you're excited so so we'll, we'll be powwowing but matt real quick mm -hmm. before we get to the news break in in, in, in about 10 minutes Transparency's kind of been the word of the week, man. A lot of it, a lot of, a lot of that. I mean, what we keep finding is that transparency and accountability are the key to our, our future success. We, we know the more open we are, the more folks understand the rules of the game, uh, the more we, we don't hide things in corners, the better off we are going to be. If simply just because we at least know here's where we are. Right. It, it seems like. So we can plot a path for, pathway forward. It seems like semantics has been the cloak for uh, transparency and accountability these last two weeks. Right. And, you know, and deflecting and, and come on, man, it, it is what it is. But that's the measure of, of not just now, it's the measure of where we've been, right? It's, right. Is we know culturally that, you know, just since since independence, there's always been this, since we inherited this sense that keep information close. You know, the official secret act still sits out there, still holds on that, that what is held by government isn't necessarily uh, digestible to the, to the public. And we know that, in fact, as a modern government, model that more openness and more connectivity with the citizenry is actually the solution because then we we can put it all out we can figure out where we're at we can create solutions that are not just driven by government or just driven by private sector or the citizens but one that comes forward with all of us contributing and and knowing okay here's where we were here's where we're going and this is how we're going to get there if we just think it's going to happen from government even government says that's not possible so so we need to figure out ways that we can all as citizens and private sector folks and media and academia and the churches get in on this understand where we're at what are the issues if, if, if for example if we're if we're going to Dubai 
Great. There's lots of reasons why. Let's get a plan. Let's develop why we're going to do that. What's going to come out How of it? How are we going to benefit the most from it? How right. are we going to maximize the opportunity right. to the fullest? Right. And whether that be talking about that, talking about renewable energy, talking about if food security. I mean, there was a, a great, if you, I don't know if anybody whether saw those. Whether you're in those. quarantine or you're out of quarantine, <laughs> if it's in isolation or out of oh, isolation. Yeah. Well, well, somebody got to say it. Because right. if it starts with the highest always in the land and trickles down, I mean, we need to address it. And, and I think that's that's the case. And, and what we see, whether you look at it the, at the, the person who's in our highest office or just the person on the street following the following the rules staying within the lines hasn't always been our history in the Bahamas what right? I find is people want other people to be accountable when it's not their turn right. for them to be accountable right in the sense that I want you to be accountable. Don't ask me to be accountable. But right. Matt need to be accountable. You all need to be accountable. Don't right. ask me to be accountable. And fundamentally, though, that comes down to a, a concept of trust. We were just talking about that before. There's the, what we, we just saw an IDB study uh, that said that in the Caribbean, Latin American region, trust in government is the lowest in the entire world. The entire world, our region is the lowest. And it has everything to do with the fact that we came from a post-colonial world. It has everything to do with that we're on small islands and feel like there's not uh, sufficient resources for all of us. Uh, but it ultimately comes to what you just said, is that we believe and are not, sh we don't believe that things are fair, that we're gonna be given our just due the same way as the next person. And that's when people start to find ways around the system. And that's when people start to, lack of compliance and lack of paying taxes and- And, and see, and, that's you know, why I think that we need to standardize like protocol we need to have policies we need to have the, you know measures in place that this is the standard right if you you know you break this law or you you know you exceed you do something this, this is the standard and you're going to be held accountable by this standard it's not one standard for you and another standard for me right. this is the standard and that, that and we all need to be held accountable by it that was the heart of the campaign we were just working on which was the do the right thing integrity campaign so you you hear the concept of corruption well the reverse of corruption is integrity it's doing the right thing even when it hurts sometimes even when it's not the right the right thing for your pocketbook it, it doing the right thing in the I, short I, I, term I, is going to benefit you in the long term but it only happens if you believe that everybody else around you is also going to be doing that right thing so that we we'll actually benefit. It, it, it kind of ties back to what you said. It's part of the culture. It's, part, it's been ingrained. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that, that we don't want to speak about wrong. We need to talk about it. It's okay to talk about people doing wrong. Right. It's okay to say this is wrong. And call, okay it, and call it for what it is. Right. And it's also, it's also part of it is to establish like where do we all sit on on this, right? So what we know is in order to deal with, with uh, getting through government services sometimes, sometimes people pay a little lunch money. Sometimes people call a relative. Sometimes people figure out ways that they can get around something during uh, going through customs. Sometimes you put things at the bottom of a bag. So if people don't believe that these things are fundamentally wrong, right. then then we need to figure out like how do we equate that. So the integrity campaign, uh, we, we talked a lot about that. We shared a lot of information. We got, got great feedback from citizens. But we also then had this video campaign, yes. which was interesting because we went to the youngest of our of our of our country right. and they actually give us some great lessons <laughs> really yes. well we actually have the big winner of the uh, integrity video competition the campaign that you guys did on the line with us right now so we'd like to welcome to the show miss dior pinder she's a young a fifth grader she's a fifth grader we had we had a, a this we had amazing. this we had this uh, this video integrity campaign we asked students of all ages right to go ahead and 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 put together a little video that we could share uh, on social media that, that talked about what integrity meant to them. And we had a bunch of really fantastic uh, uh, submissions, really creative, really interesting. But right. but but Miss Pinders stood out above everyone. Let, well, let's talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the phones now right. and, and bring uh, to the show right. the winner of the org integrity competition. The video competition. The video competition, yeah. Miss Dior Pinder, all Hello, the way from Dior. Freeport. So I'm going to turn it over to you, MJ, so you can talk to your hometown. <laughs> Hi, Dior. How are you? Hi, I'm doing good. Oh, it is so good to hear from you. Congratulations. I hear that you're the big winner of this uh, video competition from Org. Thank you. I'm so excited. So just give me an idea. What was your video about? Tell us what um, you decided to go with, the, the theme of what integrity means to you. Can you tell us? Um, so I like to visualize things. It helps me understand the concept of stuff, and I chose to do that video because 
Um, I like to make like kind of like drama videos.